What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Sarah. This is Jeannie. All right, Jeannie, what's the topic for today? So this topic is pretty juicy. Mm. And this topic is called social media versus real life. And this is an interesting You one. see my face already? I'm like, oh, my God. Guys, for off the bat, social <laughs> media gotten... is not fucking real. No. That's it. Episode over. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Bye. My drop. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, guys. It's so the reason why we picked this episode, this topic for this episode today is because there is so much times where you think that, like, let's say, for example, a couple. Oh my God, they're the perfect couple. I'm gonna leave my boyfriend because like he's treating her like this, and my boyfriend's not treating me like this, and so I'm gonna leave because of it. It's like, girl. You better figure out what, what it is that you really want. Yes. And let me tell you something else, guys. Not even just the relationship part of things. Guys, the fitness influencers, the oh ones who have God. most likely had their body done and then go to the gym to sell products. That's fucking wild. Is that not wild? Like, <laughs> that's not fucking wild. That's insane how, like, people really, like, trick people that way. And it's like celebrities that do it you know what i mean like i never got my booty done i never girl please like you went you must have you you must have been hitting the gym since you was like out of your mom's vagina. vagina right right for you to have that booty like that like, come like, on come on you know what i mean so then it's like for example black china so that way you know what i mean black china literally is now going through this whole process to get everything dissolved her face filler i guess she had her cheeks her fucking well, chin yeah she looked like a blow up bro doll. she looked fucking wild she was like Right, so it just goes to show, like that shit is all fake, and she did all that to impress who? Social media. And then look at her now, regretting and it, hating it. Changed her whole body. Now who knows if her face is gonna go back to what it used to, mm -hmm. or her ass? She took some of her ass shots out to dissolve it. How do you know it? Another prime example. Uh, who who was the other singer? Um, not Keisha Cole. Um, Ke Keisha, uh, the other black girl from Love and Hip Hop. Yes, she um, had like complications Keisha. No, Keisha. No, 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 no 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 it's you know who i'm talking about yes. though. i can't think of her name right now but literally she had all this work done on her body got her ass done got her tits done whatever she was having the worst reaction she got all of it taken out that her body was disformed her face doesn't even look the same no more but she's even when i saw wow. her on the shade room i was like that's not that's not her right that's like a different person and she just looks beautiful now, but yeah, holy shit. Like she literally was like night and day, night, night and, day. and fucking day. So it's like, guys, and you always want to follow these trends that can like literally like kill you. Yes. And then the same trends go out of style. And then now you got to go back to the doctor, take out all the ass. Cause now the, 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 the skinny bodies is back in style. And then it's like, just work on yourself. Right. Like, I'm not diminishing surgery. If oh, you no, no, get no. surgery, get Absolutely surgery. Not. If you want to feel beautiful, do whatever you want. Tweak this and tweak that. I'm all for it. Yeah. But don't go off of trends and don't go off of social media because then you're going to find yourself always in the OR. Pretty much. Pretty much trying to figure out what's next or trying to, you know, fit the description of what people want you to be. Stop trying to please everybody. Stop trying to live the unrealistic life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we get it. I fucking use filters all the time. But guys, give me a break. I'm not going to go and get fucking surgery to appease everybody. No, yeah. I mean, even after you get surgery, you're still be, you're still going to be ugly to somebody. <laughs> or even no if bullshit, even though. before surgery, you're still going to be beautiful for someone. Right. And then they're going to be looking at what And vice versa. That? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, unless it's really coming from you because you want to look good, not because you want to look better than the next girl, because that's another, that's, yeah, oh, that's, that's a different situation. That's, that's another form of jealousy and, mm. and psychoticness. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be like, no, this is what's going to make me feel beautiful, then all power to you. But if it's to impress a guy or if it's to, like, look better than the next bitch, or please, like, to, like, not even the next bitch, but sometimes I feel like the societal norm of what is I know. beautiful it's, puts pressure on younger does. women. And I see Even on me sometimes. Or, like, I have regular body fat like i'm not the skinniest girl no more but like it's a lot of pressure especially because we're on camera all the time all like, the time if i go like this like i have like the craziest double chin but if i'm like this like i don't have it no more it's like it's hard so it's like stop fucking putting all these fucking pressures on yourself and young girls you're perfect the way you are stop trying to be like these older women because mm -hmm. i find that the younger generation is going earlier and earlier to go get surgery. Yeah. Like, sis, your they body hasn't even has, developed yet. I was just going to say, your body has not even developed yet. You haven't even grown into your womanhood yet. And then your body changes after kids, too. So it's like, you don't know yet. Like, you don't know. 
you don't know. So, guys. And then it becomes a sickness because then not only you you keep seeing fat, but then you're like look like you're looking crazier and crazier. It's Skinny body and, dysmorphia. Yeah. That's exactly what social what media called, yeah. is basically pushing on us is body dysmorphia. Now, I'm first to say that I have it. I went from last year to this year I've lost a substantial amount of weight, but I'm still looking at myself like, "Oh my gosh, like I feel so big. I don't feel like I look good." Isn't you know? that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see like I still see fat? myself a year and a half ago. So it's like when people are like, oh, Sarah, you lost one. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't really see it. Like, I don't feel it. Mm -hmm. But my clothes show it. None of my clothes fit. So I'm like constantly trying to find stuff. That's but crazy. it's 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 in my head because I still don't shoot, feel. When I don't when I eat salad for a week, I'd be like, I'm skinny. Facts. That's it. I'm skinny. I, I lost. I see it. <laughs> I, I see it. Meanwhile, I look the same. Like, right. It's but, crazy. But body dysmorphia is a real thing. It is. And it's because of the comparison. Compar it's comparing yourself but it's constant it's constant but guys another topic of this social media versus real life do you know how many apps there are that you can nip tuck and pluck all in Girl, one time i can literally look like i went to dr and came back in five minutes less than that so it's like instead of spending all that money just pay for the app and do a little and eat what you want go eat all your yeah fuck it. and listen men love women with me on them mm -hmm. i'm sorry i don't want to hear that you, they, they do even if you got your body then you know when they, they when they cheat on you they cheat on you with with the, with the next big lady they ugly lady they, they, they don't care they don't care about the chichos the fucking stretch marks. marks they don't care they don't care news to me because i thought you motherfuckers cared they, they don't, don't care shit. they don't care they're like mm. many all these men that got these women with their bodies done those women stay get cheap everybody gets cheated on but i see all the time and i be like yo but your girlfriend is fire and the girl that that you're breaking your neck over looks just like your girlfriend i don't get it it's literally so confusing. And I think that all of this also has put pressure on men. I have seen more men going into surgery to get fucking lipo that or fucking abs. Too much for me. Crazy. Or the ones that are going to Turkey to get the hair transplant. That is a necessity. <laughs> I'm so Listen, they say that every time you treat a woman bad, you lose hair. So then that's why these motherfuckers is bald. <laughs> or balding like that's it there's the reason yo but some men you know like how girls wear makeup whatever hats girl hats are a uh, mother girl them let me tell fooling. you them hats be fooling these hats be making these men look fire and then when they take that hat off i'd be like bro where did that egg come from where did that their egg hairlines ain't Fuck keep going to turkey men yes. you need to keep going to turkey because yes go get that hair done it's better than a toupee that's the one <laughs> that's like that. That or the, or the Beijing nice. yeah, when the they Beijing. see like you see the, the, the black sleeping yeah, down with the sweat stop stop the Beijing is fucking crazy that, the lineup with the, the with the beard too the beard one be having me flat like out. sometimes though like if you have like bald spots like, like the small one then there's like a little airbrush that's okay because that's like us filling in our eyebrows right that when, works. But I'm still be looking at that spot. But I'm when, not gonna you, lie. when you don't got no beard and it's just pure Beijing. Beijing, 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 Beijing. <laughs> no, that's fucking wild. That should be that cracking is, me like, up. like yesterday, your beard was skinnier than today. And then today is thicker. And then your hairline came down here and now it's up here. Right. And then it's like, bro, no. Go get go, so go to go to confused. Turkey. Go to Turkey. Go get that implant. You go, feel go to me? No, nah, but that shit looks like it hurts. I be seeing it. Look. Oh well, go to Turkey. We gotta go through mad crap. We gotta go through C sections. We gotta go to periods. Go, they get, go, to go get your hair. They could go to Turkey. I'm so, some the body look looks okay on some men. Yes. On other men. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. And I also feel like that goes for the man bun. I think the man bun looks so sexy on some, and then on others, I'm like, mm, you uh, look yeah, a look, you yeah. look dirty. Like you I don't know. Sometimes it's like Jason Momoa can pull off a man bun, Ooh, he's, but I, mm, yeah, that's he, a I, man. When I think <laughs> of a man, I think of Jason Momoa. He's Samoan, right? Them Samoans are just huge. Listen, <laughs> if you Samoan, call me, cause yo, that motherfucker. They literally they can pick you up with a pinky. Literally, like if you look like Moana, the guy in the Moana, what's his name? Moana. What's uh, his Maui. Name? Ma if you listen, if you Maui, call me. <laughs> <laughs> call her if you look like Maui, Jason Momoa, The Rock, all those Samoan big all men, all of it. I want to pick you up too. Get Girl, on my back. Good luck. <laughs> Get on my back. What babe. if like they start doing the haka? 
fucking scream at me. <laughs> can't scream at me. I love it. I every I don't know why every single time I run into one of those videos on TikTok, I just have to watch them. It's I like, watch the whole thing. I'd be like mesmerized, like literally what yes and they be doing like the hand moment i'm like yeah and i'm like yes you're a fucking man <laughs> go go off and i love when they do it at graduations and shit yeah or weddings and yes. the girls the girls do oh, it too. the girls, the girls, are, the girls will whoop your ass them girls the, are listen, big. i'm not gonna lie to you if they're like sarah you can win a million dollars if you just go into the rink and fight a samoan girl or you can walk out with absolutely nothing and just have your face as in no destruct. I'm going to just leave with nothing. I'm not going in to fight a Samoan. I don't think I'll back down from the fight, but I know I'm going to lose. No, no, no. I'm not fighting. I'm sorry. I don't back down from nothing, but I'm not fighting a Samoan. You can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you bitch. I'll I twist her you. nipples. I'll do something. Kick her in the crotch. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Put it, give her a punch to the pussy. Pow! Something. I know I'm going to get my ass beat most likely, but, but yeah, them Samoan girls. Nah. And they're beautiful. They're, um, listen, their hair, their hair color, the tattoos. They, oh my God. Unbelievable. And I cannot even, like, I just think of like a Disney character when I see them. Like, wow. Wow. Literally, where, where, wow. Where, where do they live? I know it's Hawaii, somewhere in Europe, I don't know. Switzerland. I don't I really know where. Don't know. I don't know where these Samoan I'm, people come, but I know that they are beautiful people. Beautiful. Men and women. Guys, if you beautiful could actually people. give us any history on this, like, I would love to know more about Samoan people because they are literally Fire. beautiful. Hey, imagine cannot. giving birth to a Samoan baby. Oh, they're big. They're, they literally That's what I'm birth saying. big babies. They're Holy big. Holy shit. They're big. So, God damn. But listen. But uh, we don't mean, like, big fat either. We're talking about, like, they're, like. Yeah, they're, like, tall. Fire. They, 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 Fire they, people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. Thank, thank you for clarifying that because these people be Oh, going yeah, because they're going to run with it and thinking that oh, we're calling we're them. Con- no, no, no. no. I am, we're, like, admiring them. That's, yes. Like, amazing. Yes. Holy shit. Love them. Um, but anyway, back to the topic. Sorry, we social got media. To, <laughs> social we got, media. We got distracted. It was a good distraction. Um, Social media versus real life. What else? The relationship. Oh, yeah. We got to dab into that. Like, a lot of people really think that that is real life. You know what I've, I'm finding pretty corny? What? When a man, and I know ugh, I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but when a man <laughs> decorates a room with all these flower petals and all these balloons, and I find that so tacky, like to put it online nowadays, because yeah. it's like, are you doing it? For show. Sure. You're for doing it for show? Or are you doing it because it's genuine? Like, I don't, I'm not saying don't post, you know, the nice gestures. I'm not saying that, but it's just, it's, it's, it's coming out real gimmicky, real, <clears throat> I think real it, fake. I think that when it comes from the person who is surprised from it, like they're like, oh my God, look what my man did. That I feel like when it's genuine, you can tell the difference between genuine, like, That's oh my, it. or a surprise. Oh my God, I just seen this for bitch. You've seen this all fucking day. Now you're just recording it. But it's like when it's, I feel like those are okay. But when I see it from the man's perspective, like, yeah, I did this all for my girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, who are you doing that for? I know. Like, it's just so cheesy. And a lot of the, like, for example, celebrities and social media, like, relationships, that shit is so fake. So fake. It reminds me of the YouTube couple who's famous on TikTok, too. The Ace Family? Yes. Bro. And I, I used to love them and I know you them. did. I and know. And then after all the reports came out that he cheats on her and stuff like that, like. Being girls DMs. Oh, my God. Like, just God. doing, like, oh, I'll fly you out. I'm like, Bleh. meanwhile, she's probably pregnant with Taking his six kids. Taking care of all kids. these kids, like. Six kids. <laughs> like, I, I'm, like, baffled. Like, no, bro. yeah. And then they, st- they, they stay in these relationships to keep up with, like, the fakeness. The YouTube, the money. Because that's the If I was to do YouTube, I want to also put the ugly out. Right. The argument, <clears throat> the things that we don't like about each other, the thing we get sick of each other because it's like you portray this perfect ass family and they, that's a lie, guys. It is such a lie. It's such a lie. No one's that perfect ever. And they say it. Mm-hmm. They say that they're not perfect, which I, that's cool. You know what I mean? But like a lot of people will like leave their significant other because, well, it, well, what's his name? Austin McBroom. He freaking did this and this and this. I, my boyfriend doesn't do that for me. Bye, I'm leaving. Girl, your boyfriend was probably a good man. And yeah, you just left them for, for, for a facade that don't even exist. Right. And not for nothing, when you, I feel like in the beginning of their relationship, when you looked at the dynamic and they did seem happy. She did seem like she was in love. But when you fast forward to now, I don't know if she's tired from raising the kids or, or maybe postpartum, but I just feel so bad for her. She does not know. look as happy. I'm going to say the same thing. Like, I feel like she's the kind of woman that will do anything for her kids. She's an amazing mother. Yes. And I feel like, like our episode in the past, like, she'll stay for the kids to make. And that's so sad. And because that's she so just, sad she's because beautiful. she's 
fire. She could bag. And she used to go on my with my husband, Michael B. Jordan. No fucking way. I didn't know that. Like, excuse Wait, me. She went from Michael B. Jordan to him. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Um. Yeah. Nah, I'm sorry. He, he's good. He's all right. Like, I don't think he's all that in a bag of chips. But Michael B. Jordan to this. Right. And it, it seems like he's a good dad too. I don't want to like, just take bash him. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, but I'm, but I feel like she can do better. I I agree. And it's Three like, kids are not sis. You look good. You look real good. And you can have whoever and whatever, whenever the hell you want. Anybody, eeny, miny, mo. Seriously, she's smart. Mm-hmm. She's spiritual. She's a great mother. Mo- yep. Girl, please. She, yeah, no, she's definitely a catch. So if you're watching this, if this ever comes across, you deserve the very best. And, and if you stay in it, hey, they want to work it out. That's your business too. Amazing. Um, we, we, we if you're happy, that. we're happy. Right. Right. Um, but what else? So we talk about fitness, that reality, which is completely fake. Crazy. Um, the news, the headlines. Oh my God. What typically is spread on social media and what's actually are just bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the worst pieces of what is actually happening is just spread on the internet versus the whole clip of like trying to understand. And sometimes it's good and bad, right? Because in that sense, I feel like social media really pushes through. When people are, there's injustices, I find that social media has more control over pushing for the person who is either racist or something. Like, they find them. Like, I've never seen social media come together so quickly. For example, TikTok. If you see a TikTok where there's a racist act going on mm-hmm. the tiktok community will literally come together find where you work your where you live what you do call your employer send them your video of how you were acting the things you were saying da 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 so that was the only time that i feel like social media versus real life is actually beneficial because people now sometimes are, but people are more self-aware and self-conscious of the things that they say knowing that if that phone comes out and they go viral they could lose their pension or oh, their yeah, job yeah, yeah, or ba ba ba. For so. sure. But I feel like a lot of this, and we're not going to go into this too much. We're not trying to get shut down. But like, I feel like you also can't just follow what social media says when it comes to the news because they cover a lot of shit. Mm. They don't say a lot of shit. True. They didn't talk about all the crap that, that, that Pfizer was doing. They didn't talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like, not everything is the truth, guys. Like, people literally got to learn how to do research outside of social mm-hmm. media. Google, read books, because there's a lot of things going on in this world right now that are that are being hidden, and it's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I'm not going to go too into that. Everybody needs to do their own research on their own topics and go down that right. Right. That, that line. Agreed. Right. Agreed so much. Um, Any other thing where you think social media can be, like, just faking it? Um, just this happiness, like. Oh. Oh, people well. that don't ever get depressed or sad or they just portray happy, 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 happy. Those people you got to look, look. I mean, for. that and then also the the concept of um, like materialistic goods. People yes. are all over here flaunting the things that they have and all this extra shit like they're fucking balling and rich and blah, blah, blah. Girl, we all know. We all know. And it's crazy living in a LA- It's OK. It's We're almost done. <laughs> just check your iPad, just in case. Yeah? Okay. What was I saying? Um, fuck. Um, what, what were we just fucking talking about? Um, you were so close to being done. Fuck, I hate that shit. It's okay. Um, I don't remember. Hold on. Pfizer. What were we just talking about? Um. Oh yeah, the fake stuff. I was living. Oh, 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 oh. let's let's back it up. Yeah. Okay. So I was living in LA. Okay. And I noticed that the people that looked poor were the people that had money. And the people that looked rich were the brokies. Hmm. Hmm. So let that make sense. And listen, I always hear this saying where that's how the rich stay richer. Yep. So if you know, you know, people are not going out and giving, especially the rich people, nine times out of 10, they're not going out and giving their money to designer brands. Nope. They're either getting sponsored or stuff sent to them so that they can rep their brand. If not, 
I doubt that they're really going there to really just blow a bag. Kim Kardashian don't blow bags on clothes. She gets sent clothes, which is great. But that's what I'm saying. Don't try to keep up with Kim Kardashian. She's nope. a billionaire that doesn't spend money on clothes. Right. And then she fucking upsells her fucking body suits and all this stuff when you can literally get the same shit on Amazon. That's for what half I'm saying. The like, price. Yes, guys. Please be, get creative with your style. It's not saying don't buy Gucci or don't buy Balenciaga essentials. Whatever. I love essentials and yeah. all of that stuff. But it's just don't go going broke to keep up with the next person because it's all fake. There's a lot of people that even rent clothes. You know that? I I'm about to start renting clothes because I, I don't like repeating clothes, especially if, if it's for the podcast or something. Like, right. I literally just saw a fucking app about that, how yeah. they rent clothes for like $90 a month or something. They send them. I'm like, oh, wow, this you is You see, crazy. there's always a way. Like, be creative. Don't try to keep up with social media because I'm telling you, everything about social media is a mother... Lie. Yeah, lie. Get it's it not real, guys. It's not real. So, Do the best you can, guys. Like, I, I have gut. I have a double chin. I repeat outfits. I don't like to. <laughs> But this is who we are. When I sit, I have fucking chichos. This is this is real life. Right. This My is skin it. is not super soft. I have blemishes. I have little bumps. I am not perfect. This is who I am. I'm sure everybody looks like that. I've seen pictures of celebrities without editing, and I'd be like, stop it right now. That's You're like, God damn. That, that's, there's no way. Yep. So, yeah, the point is love yourself for who you are. Don't try to be anybody else. Don't try to meet, fit the standards or... Keep up with social media. No. You're going to drive yourself crazy and you're going to go broke. Amen. So, so until yeah. the next time. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>